Hi. Can you say hey? Duke likes trucks. <laughs> um, uh, likes cars, and maybe he'll be a maybe a NASCAR driver. <laughs> So we got married in 2019. I found out I was pregnant. We were pregnant with Duke in January of 2020. We had a great pregnancy, no complications, and Duke was born September 13th. He um, struggled with reflux really since he was born. It was kind of hard because I mean we're first time parents. We don't. We don't know what a newborn does. Are we just being paranoid or is there is there really something going on here? When we took him to the pediatrician that last time when we found out what was wrong. It was hard. So we were scared that something was really wrong, but we had never thought about cancer. So Duke was uh, four months old when he was diagnosed with neuroblastoma. We found out of the diagnosis on January 19th, and he had his first surgery on February 16th. During Duke's chemo treatment, I thought he, did, he was a rock star. The hardest thing was for trying to get him to sleep, fighting sleep, not being able to put him down in the crib. We don't know if this is because he's a tired five month old or if he's hurting because of the chemo that he just went through. I always thought cancer was when you get older, but childhood cancer took it as something that doesn't happen. You know, for us, after we get a, a clear scan, we think we're over and, you know, he'll say it we'll see you in three months and see where we're at there. His cancer diagnosis will always be a part of our lives and a part of his life. We were newly married and new parents, so that was a lot in itself, let alone having a child with cancer. And I feel like the hardest thing for me has been when friends or family or whatever hear that there was no evidence of disease, they're just like, that's great. But it, it lives with us every day. And so I think it's just something that will always live with us. Our hopes for Duke is that he lives a long, happy life.